Hello, it's uh, Deal bringing you an uh, intermarket analysis of the uh, European indices and uh, the movements uh, expected or anticipated from the 16th of March 2015 onwards. Okay, so the week ahead. Um, let's start off with the, uh, the snapshot of European close. Okay, very bullish, uh, except the FTSE obviously under pressure due to the rising dollar. Uh, and uh, various other factors at play there as well, especially with regards to tobacco stocks under pressure last week. Okay, so euro stocks, as you can see, very bullish, obviously given the fact that the link with the euro falling, 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 and indices rising, rising, rising. Uh, German DAX, 11,900, very, very impressive. Even the Swiss market certainly caught a bid. The IBEX obviously caught a bid, but not as much. So watch out, it's a warning sign. Uh, the Athens market still remains under the cosh due to the fact that, or certainly remains under pressure. Probably the better choice of words there, but I do think the former uh, was uh, was uh, certainly uh, more and more potent. Either way, uh, certainly remains uh, under pressure given the uncertainties regarding the uh, the Grexit, uh, and it certainly does seem to be feasible given the fact that the Germans uh, are, are certainly cert certainly angered with regards to the lack of progress with regards to uh, Greece. Okay, so MySex, uh, certainly Mr. Putin has gone missing or gone AWOL. Uh, certainly uh, a game of Where's Wally being played at the moment. And uh, given the fact that's the case, as you can see, the uh, the MySex case certainly came under pressure. Okay, uh, the Chinese or Asian markets uh, were certainly buoyant overnight, given the fact that we had news regards to repo rate cut and the ceiling basically giving way in China, which basically means easy monetary policy, dovish monetary policy, and as we know, any any policy that supports uh, or encourages the Kool-Aid or a cost of uh, a capital being reduced will certainly propel the markets higher. And that's obviously the case there with regards to the Asian markets. So overall, FTSE week, European markets very bullish. And what's the reason? QE, okay, euro falling lower. And as we know, with regards to Euro GBP, it has fallen quite substantially, and obviously that reduces the uh, the ability for the pound or sterling to certainly compete. Uh, and uh, with regards to goods and services, and obviously that puts pressure. Okay, so let's have a look with regards to the technicals now. I think I've already discussed the fundamentals, given the fact that the rising dollar will Im impact the FTSE only. Uh, we generally tend to follow the S&P 500 and the Dow, but European markets certainly have diverged uh, and are diverging due to QE. Okay, which really is absolutely baffling given the fact that the Nasdaq is very, very weak, yet the German DAX is very, very strong and they generally tend to move in tandem. Obviously, that relationship and that link has certainly broken down. Okay, right, let's have a look at the FTSE 100 first of all now from a technical perspective. Okay, so FTSE 100 going to the chart of the FTSE. Okay, so daily chart has held a 200 MA, that's the most important factor here. Yes, you do have a bear flag, so you certainly need to remain open to that concept. Uh, but my uh, previous US market analysis video did explain that we are looking at a pivot at top in the dollar, which means that you are looking for a potential move higher on the FTSE. That's the inverse relationship. Okay, that's the FTSE 100 from a, a daily chart. 60 minute chart at the moment has put in a bullish engulfing candle. Uh, obviously, as you can see here, we failed this bear flag pattern here. So you have put in a potential pivot low. I mean, you already have put a pivot low here and here. Okay, this market failed to even retest that low, so that means it's a bullish sign. The bulls came in quite hard towards the close, even though oil prices were dropping. Again, that's a bullish sign. Given the fact that the dollar index will obviously start to fall, that generally means that the oil price will certainly catch a bid. And if that's the case, if the FTSE was rallying based on a drop in oil, then what do you think will happen when the oil starts to rise? Okay, that's just something food for thought. Okay, it means that this FTSE will certainly propel much higher. You're looking at 6,800 easily, and the next target will potentially be 6,860. Okay, in a flash. That's my understanding. Okay, 10 minute chart of the FTSE 100. As you can see here, this is a key trend line. Obviously, we broke it. But ignore that for now. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so basically, we seem to be, or we were in this bearish pattern here until it got negated so for now I'm just going to hold this as resistance okay uh, we're just connecting the pivot lows here we're in this channel okay we're in this channel so if we manage to break out above the 67.55 67.60 it's a bullish sign then you are looking for a potential short squeeze up to 67.85 we break that you're looking for a short squeeze at 67.95 
if you really do break 67.95 given the fact that dollar starts to collapse then you are looking at a potential rally all the way up to 68.60 etc etc and you can look at your 60 minute chart and see that the next level is clearly 68.60 uh, and which is previous support equals resistance and that certainly is a possibility this week okay with regards to the FTSE 100 now let's have a look at the alternative indices FTSE AM all chair certainly nothing bearish there certainly does seem to be want to propel and continue its move higher okay so you can't mark that from that perspective the FTSE 250 we do have an inside bar potential bear flag but given the fact that sterling has dropped quite substantially it's very hard for me to see a drop in the FTSE 250 uh, GBP USD let's have a look at this come on where art thou there we go I mean it's one hell of a sell-off one hell of a sell-off but having said that we are into the uh, dollar index being potentially potentially uh, at uh, resistance which means that the sterling will start to rise you do have this inverted head and shoulders pattern on sterling which certainly needs to be respected so there's your left shoulder obviously you're drawing the left shoulder too low you're looking at this pattern here your head is here which is a pivot low right shoulder and obviously off we go to the races whether or not that dents are 250 and 350 certainly needs to be taken into consideration so again given the fact that the FTSE 250 has been lagging compared to the European indices that's certainly certainly something to take note of but when we do have a reversal then the FTSE 250 will be the first to rise if I go to the 350 as you can see here previous resistance equals support one could argue could argue if the dollar keeps rising then you do have a hns formation so as traders we're always open to every potential scenario playing out we're not close-minded we're just obsessed with one direction so again we can switch our bias very quickly but the way in which the u.s markets are setting up to move higher this means that we are going to get short squeeze and no higher right shoulder for hns okay that's my understanding my interpretation of the events that are unfolding right now obviously that's your trend one trend line there you've got this trend line well, that's irrelevant so that's basically all we can go on for now okay so that's the FTSE 100 wrapped up okay just so just go back to the FTSE again give you a, a quick insight onto the 10 minute chart again it's that bullish engulfing provided we hold the 6700 and 6720 the FTSE certainly remains bullish and you got 6860 on the cards obviously if that pivot low goes then it certainly doesn't bode well for the FTSE 100 if you look at it on daily chart the next level of resistance then will potentially be the bear flag playing out and you're looking at 6630 6640 which is a key rate of trend line so that's certainly open as well now oil is all about this pivot low uh, double bottom should we say okay so if the dollar index is obviously coming into uh, a potential top then this oil price is obviously coming into a pivot bottom and this may well be a double bottom on oil okay and if that holds the FTSE holds if that goes the FTSE goes very simple okay very very simple with regards to the rules next week okay now let's have a look at the European indices the German DAX looking at a 10 minute chart certainly bullish uh, daily chart potential hanging man candle uh, so again that's certainly a, a, a bearish signal so that's something that we certainly watch out for and observe and certainly respect okay uh, you can call that a hanging man okay so certainly a hanging man very interesting very very important as to what happens next with regards to the index so that's certainly worth keeping an eye out for 60 minute chart uh, as, as you can see higher highs higher lows certainly no quarrels there with regards to the move so it looks very very bullish volume is good uh, 10 minute chart volume is good can certainly continue its move and thrust higher okay especially over the weekend miss merkel did state that the economic growth certainly is strong I'm not saying that this is going to reverse and sell off quite substantially. All I'm saying is it won't rally as strongly as we all expect if the euro continues to move higher. And it will be interesting to see what the reaction is on the DAX. The DAX continues to power ahead along with US markets and obviously UK markets. And that's a super, super bullish sign. That means it's totally unfazed by the euro. So that's going to be interesting development next week. Daily chart of the French CAC. Uh, you can't fault this. I mean, this is just higher highs and higher lows. Continues higher. But again, hanging man candle certainly a warning sign there folks so that's something that you certainly need to observe and respect on a daily chart 60 minute chart higher highs higher lows bull flag played out let's see how it how it carries on uh, let's see how it basically observes and behaves from Monday onwards okay 10 minute chart again higher volume looks good obviously all these levels have negated now we're into new highs you have to respect that 
okay so you have to respect the tape the tape is uh, tape never lies okay euro stocks again going into those pivot highs towards the close coming off the pivot low daily chart again hanging man candle get rid of this okay so basically hanging man that's certainly an interesting development okay and 10 minute chart again is into that pivot high so it's all about this pivot high up here so let's just see how this transpires let's see how the market's open let's see how the trade okay folks so i think that's a summary uh, basically means that european indices are not going to be as stellar as one expected provided the euro starts to rally the dollar puts in the top okay and obviously that inflation data certainly is hanging uh, like a cloud okay over the u.s indices you may well see sideways action potentially higher but not as impressive as last week and you are going to see uk and u.s markets play catch up on the upside that's my interpretation thus far okay folks so risk on risk off uh, wax on wax off and before we do close actually there's one more thing that i do need to show you if it's remembered uh, i will go through this very very quickly uh, the banking stocks just to make you aware putting a 60 minute chart uh, candle putting a bullish engulfing uh, candle on the FTSE which is quite important obviously the banking index with regards to the FTSE quite heavily uh, obviously influences the FTSE also with regards to the oil and gas sector remember it's all about the FTSE 100 60 minute chart obviously is coming into potential support as well on the on the downside so again that certainly needs to be taken into consideration we've, we've we did fail to break this obviously we failed to hold this level so again the next uh, level uh, looking at this now is going to be support here support here and then obviously support here in this region so that's going to be quite interesting going forward so a potential bottom there along with the oil price okay with regards to the oil and gas sector of the FTSE 100 uh, retail again is into support pharmaceuticals very bullish certainly seems to be uh, powering ahead could that lift the FTSE take the FTSE higher certainly can as you can see on a 60 minute chart and a daily chart very very bullish so that certainly is a sector to take the FTSE to new highs so keep an eye out for the pharmaceuticals and the pharmaceuticals are very very important when it comes to the FTSE 100 uh, obviously they command almost eight and a half percent so almost ten percent of the FTSE 100 so hotel sector certainly is one to uh, certainly keep an eye out for uh, given the fact that obviously sterling has dropped uh, quite substantially so again potential there for a breakout for the uh, the actual uh, traveling or leisure, uh, leisure obviously sector as well so that certainly helps the uh, the travel and leisure sector obviously they get more bang for their for their for their well, I won't say book for their sterling okay uh, again beverage sector into support mining sector again if you look at 60 this is a four hour chart but if you look at a, a daily chart you are looking at potential support around this zone and again it's all about the dollar index the dollar index is into resistance and the mining se sector will certainly catch a bid as well also with regards to the chinese rate cut as well that should potentially help uh, the commodities uh, with regards to it going forward uh, the shanghai again as you can see is breaking out on a daily chart again that's an argument for the FTSE 100 to certainly break out higher as well okay so very very impressive okay folks so risk on risk off wax on wax off goodbye now